guys, December 6, 2021. This one here, I gotta go change a uh, power vented water heater. Direct vented outside the house. It's a 50 gallon. And I was over there Saturday afternoon and couldn't get the gas valve to fire up the unit. Tried a couple of different things, clean the flame sensor and I guess the unit's like probably 12 years old or something. It's not worth getting another gas valve for it, so I'm gonna rip and tear it. He's got the he's got the water heater down in the basement, then he built a wall right across it. Like it's facing the wall, the water heater. So that thing's gonna have to be spun. And I gotta vent it outside with this uh you can't use PVC no more with the with the direct vents stuff in my state. So we're gonna go back with the central therm stuff. So that's gonna all be changed. And I gotta spin the tank a quarter turn. We'll see when I get there. I got a vent here for, he's got an access port where he, where he works on the gas valve and lights it. Well, I'm gonna put that access port there for makeup here. What they did was they, um, later on after they built the house, they come and finished off the cellar and boxed it in type of thing. You can't really, you gotta have makeup here. It didn't, it didn't soot up or nothing, so it's got enough air from around the doors and whatnot. I think he's got a couple of sections where he's got folding doors there. Well, we're going to add that 14 by 14 grill also. And I got a spinner, so it's going to be a little tough one. So I got to change the vent going out the side of the house, and it's up through the joist and out, so it's going to be a little tricky. And I got to spin the tank, you know, quarter turn, so it's not facing the wall. So, I might be a little bit involved with it. It's one of these things, he didn't have no hot water all weekend. So... We're going over there now and uh, giving it the old, give it the old, how you doing? Rip and tear, put the new one up and get the guy hot water. It's got to be up to code, you know, you can't do stuff and throw it back in, especially they start, they change the code on the vents now, no more PVC. Access to I have to work on it, so we're gonna spin it. It goes out right there, so we'll just spin it. We'll spin it this way. Or we could spin it that way. I'll put a lube there. Can't have it facing the wall. You're gonna be you're gonna be three feet from the breaker panel, which is fine. We'll put it, we'll spin it, and we'll go right out. And I got a couple of 45s to go out. to the toilet and dump the water. I'm probably just gonna leave the ball valve where it is and wrap it around somehow and pipe it off. This is probably gonna have to go up higher. We'll see. Water's not hot anyway, it's cold. <sighs> Alright, I got it all disconnected. I got all the piping cut out, but that's why that line though, I gotta go up and out with the two inch. Get this one out of here and get the new tank in here. I'm gonna fill that hole in with that vent. All right, so I got it up on the three blocks and the central thumb stuff goes in. Then you got to use these little clips to hold it in. <clears throat> Just pipe. It's 
got a hub on it. You can cut it to fit what you want. There's a gasket in there. There's <coughs> an elbow. You put that little clip on there. And you just slide it right in. It slides right in. It slides right in there pretty easily, actually. You know, you put the clip on there and clip it in, but that's how you do it. Supposedly, that's rated for higher temperature than a PVC. Central Therm. That's one of the ones you're allowing now, so. Right up and right out. Boom. It's the same old D as PVC. What I did on the outside was I put one of these. I just stuck it in there in the gasket for now because I don't have one of them, but it pops right in there. It's the same as um, same as two-inch PVC. So if you had one of the the two-inch inserts, you know, it'd fit right in there. Two-inch ones. Yeah, fits right in the two-inch PVC. This is what came with the water heater. So it's the same size. Central Therm is the stuff. Might be some water in this one a little bit. Might steam it out.
just make sure they're okay before I I'll put the vacuum breaker in here yet. This lead free stuff I don't like. It's always good on these tanks to come right off with female adapters. I'll put the vacuum breaker up there. I did come up with females and tighten them up really good. Piped open Teflon. Put the vacuum breaker on there and we'll turn the water back on. I did drain the whole house down in case I had to move this valve, but it's all right there. I got no issue. I could I could grab it from here and move it on or off from here, so it's fine. We'll leave it there. What I want to do on a gas pipe is um. I think I'm going to shut the gas off, come down here with a, a short nipple and an elbow, and I'll do a swing joint over, and then we'll drop down on that side with this. i got to shut the gas off, we'll do a swing joint, and uh, I think you'd be better off. I, mean, I think I'm going to fill it, fill it and make sure I got no leaks on the water before I do the gas. All right. All right, I shut all the valves off in the house inch and a quarter main. A lot of shit going on there with that. Yeah, I wanna make sure I got no leaks here in my stuff. You don't leak them out. I'm gonna wipe everything down good, make sure that there's no flux on anything. Shouldn't be any leaks, but you never know. Get the air out of the tank. Don't wake up. It's not a wake up. Oh, I'm gonna do it. You'd rather do it through the tub so you don't block the strainers. Shake. Gotta make sure everything flows good here. We don't want any callbacks. Not with this good customer. Shut the 
this gas off. Let it off. This little sensor that goes in the bottom down here. I did the gas pipe. Came over with a, an elbow, two foot piece to a hanger, and then I dropped down. Houston, we have ignition.